women to school they have a lot of they have the potential in them they have they have they, they can change the world they can change they can impact into the world they can do a lot of things so send give the woman education give the woman give the girl education not just the men hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Lifa. Uh, if you are watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. So guys, I have another interesting topic for you guys today. But before I go on, I would like to say something. I would like to say a few words. Right now, we know what's going on around the world. Coronavirus affecting and killing a lot of people. So please, I want to beg, if you do not have a valid reason to go out, please stay safe at home. If you do not have a valid reason to go out, stay at home. And if when, if you are going out, if at all you have to go out, it's necessary. Take with you your face mask. Take with you your face mask and your hand sanitizers. Wash your hands regularly with soap and running water. Avoid crowded areas. Follow the instructions and the guidelines you've been given. Obey the curfew rules. Make sure you are in at the expected time. It's there for a reason. So I would like to say, please stay safe, stay safe. So guys, the topic I have for you today is feminism. I will be talking on feminism today. Before I start, I would like to ask a question. I would like to ask you guys a question. The question is for everybody actually. I'm also going to answer this question in due course. So now, do you believe that men and women deserve equal rights and equal opportunities? Do you believe that men and women deserve equal rights and opportunities? Please give me your reasons in the comment section below. So now I would go further to define feminism. I have four definitions of feminism here. Firstly, feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes or gender. It can also be defined as the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes or gender. Again, it's also defined as a doctrine advocating social, political, and all other rights of women equal to those of men. And lastly, feminism is the belief that men and women deserve equal rights and opportunities. So as usual, I'm going to be speaking from my perspective, and I'm going to be dwelling mainly on the facts, on that last definition, that feminism is the belief that men and women deserve equal rights and opportunities. So now I've defined what feminism is. I would like to tell you, I would like to say some reasons why some people hate feminism. Why some people hate the term feminism and why some people, why some people basically hate the term feminism. So, some people hate feminism because they fear that feminism will mean that men will eventually lose out of power, influence, impact, authority and control and economic opportunities. So now, I define feminism for you, and that is not what feminism means. Feminism does not mean that women will be on top of the world. Feminism does not mean that women will be in control. Feminism does not mean that women will start controlling men. What feminism means is that women get to enjoy the same opportunities and rights that men enjoy. Feminism means that women deserve equal rights and opportunities that men enjoy. They deserve it. That is what feminism is. So feminism does not mean that men will no longer be in control. Feminism does not mean that the man will no longer be the head of the house. The, the man will always be the head of the house. That, feminism does not mean that the woman would take control. That's one reason. Secondly, a lot of people believe that feminists want to control the world and put men down. That is not what feminism is. Just like I said, feminism is the belief that men and women deserve equal rights. Just like I said, it does not mean that we want to be on top of the world. It does not mean that women want to be in charge of everything. That's not what feminism means. Feminism just means that men and women deserve equal rights and opportunities. Thirdly, a lot of people fear that feminism will overturn time honored traditions, religious beliefs, and established gender roles, and that feels scary and wrong. Obviously, it's going to be wrong if a woman wants to start controlling a man. It's going to be wrong there. But just like I said, that is not what feminism is. 
and people should not be scared we don't want to take over the world all we want to do all we want is equal rights and opportunities that a man gets and lastly many people fear that feminism will bring about negative shifts in relationships marriage society culture power and authority dynamics and in business job and economic opportunities if and when women are on an equal footing with men obviously i've been saying this i've said this countless times feminism means feminism is the belief that women and men deserve equal rights and opportunities so what that is trying to say is that it's going to bring a negative shift in relationships marriages it's going to what will solve that problem is just understanding understand the woman she's not going to take over the world she's not going to start controlling the man all she wants is those rights and opportunities that you are denying her you can actually give her the right and opportunity but you are denying her and giving it to men that is what feminism is all about those rights those opportunities those privileges that you can that you can give to a woman but you don't want to give to a woman you deprive the woman of that opportunity and you go ahead to give it to a man that is what feminism is about so i just told you guys the reasons why a lot of people hate feminism that is the reason why some people hate feminism but like i said women don't want to be on top of the world all we want is equal rights and opportunities as men those those opportunities that you give to a man give it to a woman if she deserves it so now how can you give women this rights and opportunities that they are asking for what are the ways you can give women the rights and opportunities so now one way is including including women in a lot of things don't exclude women just like i said before in my previous video social exclusion don't practice social exclusion rather include them include them in what you think they can do include them in whatever you think they can do they have the capacity and the energy include them secondly social sex discrimination do not discriminate do not discriminate patriarchy allow the woman to take part in political activities if she feels if she proves to you that she can actually do it or if you know that this aspect a woman can take care of it then give her the opportunity to show you to show you what she can do yes that is what feminists are asking for also stop violence against women stop the violence against women sexual belittling of women do not belittle women don't think because we are women and the bible says we are weaker vessels don't think that we are really weak it does not mean that we can't do what you are doing fine you have the capacity you have more capacity than us you have more energy than us it does not mean that we can't do some things that you are doing now we see some women that run faster than some men we see a lot of things that women are doing we see a lot of improvements that women are doing so stop belittling women give women rights and opportunities that you would give to a man like sending a man to school send the, send women to school so in the northern areas women are not sent a lot of girls are not sent to school they believe that only the men should go to school and the women should stay at home and get married and give birth to children no send women to school they have a lot of they have the potential in them they have they have they, they can change the world they can change they can impact into the world they can do a lot of things so send give the woman education give the woman give the girl education not just the men not only men deserve education give the woman education so that's one way you can actually you can actually give feminists what they're asking for so give women equal rights and opportunities whatever you know you can actually give to a ma to a woman whatever you know you can give to her give to her whatever opportunity you know that a man he's having privilege of if you know you can if you know a woman can do it then give her the opportunity to show you what she can actually do so that's about feminism and i asked the question in the beginning do you believe that women and men deserve equal rights and opportunities my answer from my perspective is yes women deserve equal rights and opportunities women deserve equal rights and opportunities as men whatever opportunity you are giving to a man if you know a woman can do it give it to her and i'm emphasizing on education send girls to school a lot of people are belittling girls and belittling women like placing them in areas 
saying they are going to get married, they are going to become housewives, so they don't need education. Women and girls need education, just like a man needs education. So I'm going to emphasize very well on this education, send the girls to school. So on this ground, I would like to say I believe men and women deserve equal rights and opportunities. Thank you very much for listening. That's all I have to say, guys, on feminism. If you are still watching, if you are still here, thank you very much for coming this far. If you have not subscribed, please do well to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a thumbs up. Share to your friends, share to your family. Drop comments in the comment section to answer the questions. Tell me what you think feminism is from your perspective. Tell me how we can come to solve this problem. How we can come to the common ground in the common comment section again. Thank you guys very much for staying with me. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, guys. I love you very much. Bye.